here's how people need to start thinking about them. And it's important to have these skills. Most people say, well, I just want to hit it straight. Well, this is how you hit it straight. Uh, most people say, I'm not good enough to, to curve it. That's incorrect. It helps build skill. And these are fundamental in playing good golf. Most people have a slice swing. All the things you see, them tilting back, them coming over their top, it's in their best interest to do because it actually gives them a playable ball. So most social media tips and things you see, you'll say, you'll have people point out things that aren't really the problem. Oh, you're falling back, you're coming across it. Again, with, with a club angle like most people have, they need to come across it. They need to hang back to square it up. If they had a beautiful swing, they'd hit it off the planet to the right. So most people swing what's in best interest for them to do. So when someone comes to a lesson with me and I see them aiming a mile left, I don't change their aim. I know they're gonna fade it back. Again, most people aim in a way that's helpful. And unfortunately for this game, they build, most people build bad habits, live with them for 40 years, play bad golf for 40 years. They get stuck in that pattern, they have no options. So back to my original point, this is the average golf swing. Face is open, gonna cut across it. Again, if I wanted to play a fade, I would do a lot of those things. So this is my picture. People say, well, what should this do? What should that do? Again, the ball doesn't necessarily care about what you do. Yes, there's some fundamentals, some turning, some appropriate, you know, bends and turns and tilts and all that, totally. But most people get so stuck, so stuck in all these other things, and they don't relate the club, club path, club face better to the ball. So here's my draw picture. So well, your hand should be inactive. In my opinion, for most people, that is terrible information. People say, well, you shouldn't roll it over for a draw. Well, if you've hit a slice your whole life, you absolutely should. So I'm going to go in and out, I'm going to roll it over, it's going to hook. Right, so then, if I wanted to hit it straight or straighter, I'd find the middle middle road there. For most slicers, to hit a true straight ball is going to feel like a little bit of a draw. For people that overhook, you need to have the ability to hit a pull fade. That's why it's so important have both of these skills so that you can self-correct. Okay, another challenge I'd have for you, so again, next time you go out, just, just hit some shots. Small swings, everyone swings too big, too fast. Scrape over more balls, it's a waste of time. The next time you come out, open the face a little bit, cut across it, watch it fade. Right now, again, you, miss, you might misplace, you might miss hit it, right, this club this ball they were built too small but we're stuck with them so that's why it's important to have a, a good golf you know swing machine pros have these elite machines that make the game seem overly easy the average person moves and flails the club around I'm surprised they actually hit the ball uh, more often than not because it's just not not assumed but here's another I'll do this in classes right I'll hit the top top of the ball I'll ask people in the class, you know, what am I doing? And of course their answer is, oh, you're swinging too fast, you're looking up. Say, I think I am looking up, let me, uh, let me try that again. Oh, you're, you're swinging too fast. They're out of answers. My favorite part, they just have no clue why they're here, why they're listening. And I say, I'm a pro golfer. You know, not obviously PGA Tour, but I love to think, play it professionally, locally, and all that. I'm really good with this club, where it swings. So that's why I teach a lot of my kids, a lot of my long-term long -term students, how to have these skills. Most people get stuck doing things one way, it's a terrible way, they stink their whole life. They have no ability to do anything different. So next time you go to the, to the course, try to top one. Most people can't do this. They can't do that. But the reason why 
I can hit good shots is because I can do all these outliers. I don't, and I don't want you to always practice perfect shots because I can hit it off the toe, because I can shank it on purpose, because I can hit the top of the ball. That's the reason. That's the reason that I can hit good shots. So that matters. Also, when we're hitting shots, I'm preaching hard here. face a little open. I always want you to relate what the club's doing to the ball. So again, I don't love to do it, but I'll blast it right out of bounds with driver or something. No matter what, I should be able to relate what I felt into what occurred. So if I'm working with a student, you know, we're working on hitting a draw, and it slices to the right, and they say, I, I know I rolled it over. No, you didn't. To some extent, the, the ball don't lie, right? So you can't tell me that you just rolled it over when that didn't happen. So that last one, right, as a, as a fractionally high, and if you guys watched the Open this last week, right, JT topped the ball on 18, Justin Johnson topped the ball on 18. Why do you think they did? It's just a hard game to apply this club perfectly over a long period of time. You're gonna miss some. So don't panic. Get a flush pop. You can do a little more stop. So a little bit of preaching there. These are my beliefs. Lifetime in golf. Love this game. Play this game. Teach a, a lot of students online in Tucson. And these are the things that matter. So yeah, there's some awesome tips, there's some stuff, but if it's not, if you're teaching someone to go from a slice to a draw, and you're not teaching them face the path, what matters the most, I don't really care about it. Because if people start doing something and they don't understand how it relates to the club path and club face, it's not valuable over time. Also, these skills, these racket sports skills, we can take those to the golf course. We can play this way, right? If Again, when I go play, I'll typically hit a pretty sizable fade off the tee because I know I can do this straight. You know, if I had to go right from bed to the first tee, I could do that. I don't need to warm it up. I don't have to tinker with it so much. Now, again, there's benefit to having a better movement for sure. But if the average golfer understood and practiced some of the stuff, they'd get way better rather than just spinning their wheels on the range with nothing happening. So take that to thought. Reach out if you have any questions. But I love this game and I love seeing people play this game better.